the week ahead. Last Thursday's release of CPI sparked a sharp emotional rally. You can see the gap starting from Wednesday's high up through Thursday's high. Additionally, you will see that the rally carried through Friday. Additionally, the election results that increased the odds of political deadlock further encouraged the buying. What is important is that historically, emotional buying, which was assessed by an extremely large gap, accompanied by poor underlying structure, increases the odds of at least a downward test. We had poor underlying structure and very emotional buying. Tuesday, re morning, Tuesday morning's release of PPI is the next significant scheduled economic release. It's important to understand a little bit more about PPI. CPI, which sparked last week's rally, stands for Consumer Price Index. PPI, which will be released on Tuesday, represents producer prices. PPI is often viewed as a front runner for P a CPI. So I would guess that there's gonna be some pretty close inspection of PPI when it comes out on next week. Additionally, we have retail sales next week. The release of retail sales is another one of those events where Good news has greater odds of being bad news for the market. And weaker or softer sales increases the odds that that will be good news for the market. The market right now would like some assurance that the economy is slowing down and that the policies taken by the FOMC have been productive. The last thing that I will be watching for next week are the comments made from several scheduled Fed speakers. What I'll be looking for is there's a possibility that when these Fed speakers go out next week, their goal might be to tamp down the enthusiasm so that the market doesn't get ahead of itself and put them in a difficult position. Now, this is all, of course, speculation on my part, but I would think that the most important thing is don't take last Thursday and Friday's rally for granted. The best case for continuation would be a serious downward test that is met with additional buying. The more speculative response would be for the market to continue straight up from Friday's high. Good luck, and we'll talk to you next weekend.